Hello ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Unnamed here once again with some more jump drives. I think these videos are fairly popular because they're getting more views than any other video I have much more quickly than any other video I have, so you guys are obviously interested in this. What I have here is just a ton of jump drives. The mod, the one single mod that I'm using for this is for the arc reactor. So I really don't have to put 50, 100 normal reactors all over this just to get it to work. Now this is the bare essentials, just a few thrusters here and there to get things going, uh, actually. Cut down on a little bit of weight there. And last I saw, this thing would propel me 85,000 kilometers. 85,300. So let's go ahead and get going. This ought to be exciting for everyone. Here we go. 80 jump drives. So this is about the maximum that I can stack on this ship without having that diminishing return that I talked about in my latest video, last video. 500 jump, jump drives, rather, where I was only able to go about 60,000. These things are really, really heavy, and weight affects how far the jump drive can push your ship. This thing is just a cockpit, a reactor, a couple of gyroscopes, a couple of thrusters, and that's it. So, Without further ado, let's go ahead and get going. Let's see what is out there at 85,000 kilometers. Look at that. Even though I added these on gradually, my reactor didn't have much of a problem. But even at almost 2 gigawatts, this thing is overloading. I can't run any of my systems because all of these jump drives are having to recharge. And out here... There really is not a whole lot. It looks like I jumped into a relatively empty part of space. There's a few asteroids dotted around me, but for the most part, there is really nothing. That's a little unsettling, especially because the closest one that I can see, I think maybe that one, could be that one. Either way, those are easily 5 to 10 kilometers away from this ship's location. That's a pretty steep distance to go once you've run out of power for your warp drives. And I think this is about the maximum distance you can get. My goal has always been 100,000 kilometers. Unfortunately, it just does not seem like I'm going to be able to get that. I can't even turn my ship. I can't do anything. All the power is going to recharge these jump drives. And as you can see, it's happening very, very slowly. Mostly by now I would have two bars, but because they're all draining from that reactor at the same time, it's gonna take forever. Let's just see here. It's gonna take about eight minutes to recharge all of these reactors. Normally it takes four or five minutes. So we've pretty much doubled the amount of time it takes just to charge. As you can see right now, they just hit to two bars of charge. 
it would be nice if you could do it to where a partial charge would only get you a short distance to your target instead of not being able to jump at all. But I'm pretty sure that's going to be coming in the works later on. But yeah, 85,000 kilometers. I just don't know if I can go much further than that. If anyone has any tips or pointers on how to get that extra bit of distance, let me know in the comments. Give me a reply. You know, give me some help with this because I really, really want that 100 thousand kilometer goal and I don't want to get any modded jump drives that's the thing I want to do this as vanilla as I possibly can and I know I'm saying that and I have this arc reactor here but that's just to cut down on the weight and give me a little bit of extra power and even then as you can see that extra power is being completely drained away by all the jump drives just draining from it at the same time. So, that's it. The 85,000 kilometer mark. I hope you guys enjoyed this. See you next time.